I got oblivion. I got oblivion. I got oblivion. God, I can't wait to install this on my dual car. Oh, hey! Uh, hi, Morrowind. Uh... I'm very sorry, but your younger counterpart seems more attractive, and I can't be having both of you. It would just get too confusing for me. I mean, I'm a one Elder Scrolls game guy. So, seriously, I am going to need to install Oblivion on my computer now. And I'm going to keep you, no questions asked. There's a big open space for that big CD case of yours right in my PC game rack. And maybe one day I'll take you out and we'll have some shits and giggles again. But for now, it's Oblivion's time. It really is. Sorry. I got oblivion, I got oblivion, I got oblivion. I'm still playing oblivion, I love oblivion, I love oblivion so much. Yes indeed, yes indeed, look at that, I'm kicking some mercy, yeah. But hey Mike. What? What do you want? Did you see that Skyrim is out? What? What's Skyrim? It is the sequel to Oblivion. What are you talking about, this new Elder Scrolls game? It's only been like a month since this one came out, right? Yeah, this has been five years since it came out. You have to get it, because it's going to be epic. Five years? Man, I do really have to take a leak, don't I? But with Elder Scrolls games, they're always just a big open world. You can do whatever you want in, so I don't really think I need a sequel. I mean... It's not gonna hurt me, I could be in front of This one's tank. rated M. Oh, well in that case. Walking on foreign grounds like a shadow Roaming in far off territory So my twin uncle's right, Skyrim is out. It's a beautiful game. I've been playing it a lot lately. But as for uh, my history with the Elder Scrolls, I've had somewhat of one. I haven't been there from the beginning. I didn't get into Arena or Daggerfall or even know about them until probably the Oblivion days. But I did know about Morrowind. I grabbed that one. I like it, but it's catered to a much nerdier nerd than me. There's a lot of dialogue. Try a novel with each character you talk to. Everything else seems somewhat accessible, but not to everyone. They approved upon this with Oblivion. This one was more accessible to any game. Although I think they limited the dialogue a little much and they cut back on a lot of the quests. I honestly didn't think this could get topped. I probably started it over eight times over the six years it was out. But then... We got... Like Hold on, wait, 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 Roll just a minute. We did that already. Let's, uh... Kick it over to the voiceover. Skyrim did go above and beyond. There was a certain gritty look and feel that Oblivion lacked. In a medieval game, I expect there to be a good deal of blood. Oblivion was missing this. By comparison, it felt like Oblivion was more of a fantasy, like, say, a Disney movie. Skyrim is also more like the feeling of being in a living world. I swear this game is alive. And where I come from, if the game was alive, we would immediately burn it for being a vampire. Why are you on my show again? I thought I would help you out while you were outside having a smoke. Smoke? I don't smoke. Alright, fine. I'll level you. I smoke. But it's a glandular thing. But what are you doing on my show there? Well, I was in the other room playing the Mortal Kombat. And then I got bored because this one guy online, he was making me so angry. He kept choosing Reptile, and he kept kicking my ass with Reptile. So I started to think, oh, maybe Reptile's an easy character to learn. But I chose Reptile, and then he started kicking my ass with Reptile, as I am Reptile. 
and I started to get a little worried. Worried? What are you talking about? Well, I was a bit concerned that maybe I might have a reptile dysfunction. Did you really just come onto my show to make that joke? What joke? Moving on. Well, now that all my jokings are out of the way, let's get to why you're here. Ifinity, or that other multi-monitor support, in Skyrim. But guess what? You're getting three for the price of one this time. Well, maybe. I didn't test one, but I can point you in the right direction at least. So if you've been uh, keeping up with me, I said in my first video, Morrowind is older than this technology. And it has been fixed to work with such a thing. This is the one I didn't get to test, however. I know that my old go-to website, Widescreen Gaming Forums, has a way to fix this. Sorry, I didn't have time to confirm this one, but you can download something called Morrowind FPS Optimizer from the site, and it should work. Let me know if it does, although, like most of us, I've moved on twice since Morrowind. As for Oblivion, guess what? No downloads are necessary at all. It has native support. Just install it, and the desired resolution should come up as an option. If you want to get technical, you could always find the INI file and try and change it through there. I don't recommend this. Now, you would think, Hey, the fourth game had native support, so the fifth game should too, right? Wrong. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Skyrim made Ifinity such a pain in the ass. Widescreen Gaming Forum has a few options. While I was trying to find the best one, I went through all of them. Here's where Hayden shines through again. He made a patch that you can turn on before you run Skyrim. Of course, after you manipulate the INI file. First go to Computer, then C colon backslash, or whatever the main hard drive that Skyrim is installed on. Then Users, Your Name, meaning the name you use and not actually the phrase Your Name. My Documents, My Games, Skyrim, and there you should see a file called Skyrim Preps. Oh wait, you can just search Skyrim Preps in the Windows 7 toolbar. Whoops. Open this file and you shouldn't have to go far to find it. About the 16th line down says I size W equals sign. Change the resolution to the width of your desktop. The one underneath says I size H equals sign. And change this one to the height resolution. Save the file. If you start a game right now, sure the world's gonna look just fine as you walk around in it, but the menu screens will be zoomed in too far, and a lot of information you're gonna need in the weapons, skills, and magic menus will be missing off screen. I tried playing like this for a long time, and it really wears on your nerves. Here's where my new close personal best friend Hey Den comes into play again. First Alice, and now this. If you download his ultra-wide fix, make sure you run it before Skyrim every time. Sure, Windows will give you that screen making sure you want him before it opens, but once it does, all you have to do is press Inject Patch. And when it says searching for RUNNING Skyrim process, start the game, and yes, finally, you should have Skyrim running with full Ifinity widescreen support. Thus concluding my Ifinity lesson for Skyrim. As for glitches, there's really none. It still does that targeting mishap, just like Alice in Wonderland did, where the arrow might be here and the door might be there until you center it on it. But other than that, enjoy. Hey, Mike. What's up? I got over my reptile dysfunction. Would you like to come play me at the Mortal Kombat? Stop saying that. And no. Why not? Because you're not real. Mucho mejor.